All right, so we are here with Kevin Hanna, who's the line hall manager. Is it a line hall manager line for hall Rosedale? Manager. Yep, that's All cool. right, so uh, let's talk line hall because people don't understand how line hall works. But we're in Mississauga. This is your head office. Correct. So give us an idea of your terminal locations, your network behind. Uh, so the networks that we have, our terminal locations, um, are really right across the country, right. from Quebec City right to uh, Vancouver. Okay. Okay. Then everything in between. Right. So in the east, you know, there's Quebec City. Uh, Montreal, Granby, right. then here in Mississauga, okay. London, Barrie, Ottawa as right. well. Uh, then out in the uh, west we have um, Winnipeg, wow. uh, Regina, Saskatoon, Edmonton, Calgary, <laughs> Kelowna, <laughs> And then finally in uh, in Vancouver. Do you guys put a terminal in every place you get a customer? Is that pretty, how works? pretty much. It almost <laughs> sounds like it, doesn't it? So 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 what's it, having all of those terminals? Um, when you say to somebody, uh, "We're bringing you on as a long haul driver." Mm -hmm. Is it really long haul? Like it sounds almost like it could be a regional operation other than it's probably it, it, outside. It, it of, is long know. haul because you know we, we're going, we're moving freight in between all of those terminals right. plus southbound as well. We also have a terminal in Dalton, Georgia. Okay. Okay. So we're moving freight from there um, up to Canada here okay. and then branching off, you know, it could go into Winnipeg and then for right. further ends to the west and then here into Mississauga for further ends to the Ontario terminals and the Quebec terminals. So if I'm a driver coming on as long, uh, how... Does do you guys decide, or do I say I would like to be line haul only, or do drivers must pick up other places outside of Dalton, Georgia? We, we right? do. So we, we go into like the Carolinas, so North Carolina, and South Carolina. We're into Ohio daily as okay. well, um, down into PA and down into Jersey three, four, five times a day. Okay. Um, you know, the Illinois, Wisconsin. Uh, Kentucky, Tennessee, right. daily were there. Right, right, so, right. you know, we're, we're moving freight all in between those. Some straight from mills, because we're the flooring people, right? Right, right. Um, Straight from mills to manufacturing plants. Okay, okay. So the nice thing is, do will people get home? Like, how... Give, give me an idea of so how a line haul per, works. Predominantly, yeah, we have guys that start, you know, like Sunday, Monday, right. Tuesday, even Wednesday guys that are starting. Okay. Um, just based on how their schedule is. And, you know, we're pretty flexible to, nice. to handle whatever and adjust to whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. the individual may need. Um, so it could be out, you know, two to three days, up to five days, and then back home for, for you know, two days. Could right. be three, just depending. And then obviously per week. Okay, so if I'm in, uh, let's say, well, let's just use Mississauga because mm -hmm. that's where we are. I'm a Mississauga line haul driver. You're gonna send me maybe when I go to Quebec, and then you could go. You could go to Quebec. You could go to Ottawa, maybe okay. with an LTO overnight, okay. and then pick up a truckload in, uh, say, Gatineau, Quebec, and that would be down to delivering somewhere in PA. Okay. Back haul out of PA back into Mississauga. From okay. Mississauga, then you're in. Then you're back into endless options again. You could be going into Ohio, Carolinas. Okay. Uh, out to Winnipeg, down to Georgia. Okay, so so you would, but a driver probably wouldn't go from here to Quebec to Winnipeg, though. No, that, no okay. not enough hours. All right, all right. So 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 you're you're kind of eliminating that giant leap going across yeah, country. Yep, yeah, okay. that's true. All right, so yeah, so okay, so most so that's the line hall. The nice thing is that line hall is normally terminal to terminal. Correct. Right. Yes. So is there city drivers at each terminal that every every deliveries? terminal across across the network has city drivers, so the freight would get break per terminal and then spread out to the city delivery. Oh, okay, so it's, it sounds like but a now great we do, Now we do go to customers as well. So like yeah. I said, we pick up from mills that are down in, in Georgia for yarn or even in the Carolinas right. that we pick up the yarn and bring it into Canada here into manufacturing plants that produce the actual carbon and then move it okay. from there. Okay, so so there's a wide variety of customers and terminals. Yes, yes. Do you find drivers like to mix that up? Do you, uh, you know, I don't want to run Winnipeg again this yeah, week. Or pre or predominantly, you know, everyone just wants that one stop, right? Yeah. Pick up a trailer from A and go to B and right. then move from B to see you know okay. and that's what we probably do there's very little um you know wait times or anything like that it does happen from time to time it is transportation yeah, 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 but yeah. predominantly for the most places we have it's it's live offload appointments you're on time for appointments you're there for that appointment you're offloaded and away you go good and the terminals you reduce the wait time because you plan Correct. it out based on their hours, on, on of, their, service. On hours of service and arrival time. Right, right, right. I used to work for an operation that had terminals, and we would see all the highway guys come in overnight, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and they're sleeping during the day. Yep. And then, uh, and then, Back out at night time. Yeah, yeah. That, was their, yep. that was their deal. Uh, how about moving people around within the network? So let's say I start in Mississauga, and uh, my family's now in BC. Mm -hmm. Are you able to accommodate that? Any requests that? that would come in like that would go through our HR team. Sure. Um, and then they would handle from there. You know, I think Rosedale sort of were different than all the other companies out there that we would take that on and right. adjust to whatever was needed. Right. Um, you know, maybe it's not even 
um, moving across the country or moving to another terminal or another region. So if it was within Mississauga or within another branch that um, a, a driver started a new family and a newborn come on and he can no longer be on the highway, well, we do have opportunity to go into our city department oh, and, and drive in the city. So that's why I think we are a little different. You know, we want to keep everyone within the Rosedale family that, uh, that we can. Do you, do you use those terminals as a training lane? Because that's the unique thing about someone that has a network of terminals. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, if you were training a new driver somewhere else and, and that our customers in uh, Florida, yeah, that's your yeah. thing. But you can send them from here to, to, to Quebec and, and let them get their feet wet. Is that part of the training program um, for your not, not, not necessarily. Um, all the training is done here right. um, in Mississauga here. But, you know, we, we sit down with them and we go over everything that uh, is necessary for them to, you know, make the, their next trip or their first trip happen. Right. Yeah. And even going cross-border, I'll have guys shadow that driver down okay. or send two drivers into the same place for the same pickup. Right. Yeah. And then, you know, they take loads two loads into PA or Carolinas or wherever they're going to go this way. So they're a little comfortable going with someone and seeing the routine and stuff like that as well. We're at your head office, which is a beautiful location here. I don't know if they're all like that. Are there driver facilities in each terminal? Every terminal for, has a driver facility. Yeah, so there's a places for them yep. to relax yep. and exactly. rest if, if, yep. if they're in front of if the town. Needed, yeah. yeah. And what kind of drivers are you looking for? So, <laughs> and I know I'll, I'll believe that. Every, because, every, everyone, everyone. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, you probably are. Uh, yeah, no, no, yeah. Knowing the culture yeah. of your company, yeah. you probably aren't looking for everybody. Yeah. Uh, but you are looking for certain types. So is there a certain driver that fits line haul better than another driver? Someone that is really... Um, you know, uh, flexible, um, cause the hours are, are so different than, yeah. you know, like the typical nine to five, right. 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 Uh, within line hall, you know, we're moving overnight, right. People yeah. want freight next day, next morning. Right. So someone that uh, you know, has definitely has experience yeah. and, and they go through the process here, right. You know, we'll put them on a road test and backing and stuff like right. that. Um, but you know, someone that, that can deal with, you know, technology now, yeah. right. It's, it's different than it was 20 years ago right. and regulations that are being constantly updated and changed <laughs> by the minute, and by the minute right. <laughs> so it's someone who, you know, can, that can adjust traffic and congestion yeah, yeah. and you know, it, it's, it's, yeah, yeah. it's tough. It's yeah, tough. Yeah. How long have you been in the transportation? Industry? I've been in the transportation industry for 22 years now. Okay. Were you a driver? I time? was never a driver. No. no? Started, no. I started out on the dock and then oh, just okay. uh, yeah. worked. Skip that whole driving. Yeah, yeah. And then just worked my way all the way through. Yeah. But but I, I'm assuming over 22 years you've got a good understanding of how, what drivers have to go through, of how course. they work, and of you course. understand yes. this, uh, yeah. the issues that come up on the road. It's... Daily, daily. <laughs> uh, do you guys dispatch your terminals differently to where... Um, like to, to go around traffic patterns, to adjust for weather, what, you know, are you doing they're, anything they're, differently that way than most? Or? Not, not, not typically, right. but you know, we're, you know, Twitter now, everyone's setting in news feeds that <laughs> it's, it, it, it's easy, right? Even the drivers themselves have, you know, there's apps that you can get where, you know, I think even uh, Waze or Google Maps, right, they'll right. update you with better trips sure, and stuff yeah, like yeah. that, right? Yeah, so, so everyone's pretty much aware of what's what's out there and what's they're facing is your what kind of equipment would they be using line haul so i know for the city operation you've got pup trailers and that Correct. kind of thing what, yeah. what what are you using because uh, you using b trains or you know what we do we do haul uh, lcvs okay um, lcvs okay. are predominantly through just terminal to terminal but that's switch point so right. montreal would load one granby would load one we would load one and then we're switching in Kingston with those to come back. All LTL okay. overnight service. Okay. Uh, for the most part, going to the United States and, and other locations, it's all 53 foot trailers. We yeah. do have three axle trailers in the system as well, um, obviously for heavier loads. So uh, the, uh, the LCV is an interesting point because that is something you have to go to a company that does that in order Correct. to get that training, yes. right? Yes. So if I'm a driver, I come out of school, maybe I'm with your operation for a mm -hmm. couple of years, and now I'm interested in LCBs. Do you guys have the whole training program yes, set do. up for yep. that? And yes, what type of difference is there in just running one trailer down the road? Other than you've got two trailers following two, you. Yeah, two, two trailers, you know. You longer have inspection. To, <laughs> longer inspection, that's correct. You know, and you're traveling at a lesser speed, right? right. 90 is your max that you can go. You're always in the right-hand lane all the time. Um, there's, I believe, at the training to start, before you can go out on your own, you have to be a 1,000 
kilometers, I believe it is, okay. um, with a trainer, and then once you've completed that, then you're able to go out okay. on your own. But you guys handle all of we that We handle training, all that, right. all in-house here. Right, yeah. all right. So there's a lot of areas for a, a driver to go. There's, Once they come here, they don't have to leave to all quit kind, and go. There's all <laughs> kinds of options. Just through the line hole, running cross-border, um, intra-Canada, um, intra-West even, um, city departments, you know, there is there is lots of options. Switch drivers, you know, we have drivers that are uh, from Barrie to Mississauga and, and back and forth in between there and same from London and uh, to Mississauga as well. That's great. So if, if I'm a driver and I'm not in Mississauga here, can I just walk into uh, your Winnipeg terminal and say I'm looking for a, a job most, or do yes. they always have to come through here? Nope. What's the best way for nope, someone? No, most certainly. You know, they can walk into any terminal and, you know, greet with a smiling face yeah. and uh, welcome, come on aboard here, you know, and let's get some information, get some background and stuff like that, what your interests are in, into and uh, go from there. Okay. From there, be sent into our HR from here, and then they would review and start the uh, start the process. Do you take brand new drivers out of school, or do yes, they have to do. have a certain yep. amount of experience? Yes, yes, we do. All right, so those new people can get exactly. right on board, and, and then we put them through a coaching program here. Awesome. Um, you know, four to six weeks, and it goes out with a highway trainer, so he's used to paperwork and driving and. You know, it's it's well done. Very That's well. great. Well, well, the company's been in business. I think you guys are approaching your 50th that anniversary at this at that this point. And uh, you don't stay in business 50 years and grow to the size that you, you guys don't. are nope. by uh, nope. you know cheating the system that and, is right. and yep. making so moves. So, thank you so much. How do we learn more? Where's where's the best place for someone to start wherever they might be in the definitely community? website for sure. Okay. Um, phone call as well, and you know, even drop in for a drop in for a tour. <laughs> drop in for a tour. That's what we like to do. <laughs> Thanks very much. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you.